Hey guys, Nathan here, welcome back to another episode of How To Fut. And in today's episode, we have some weekend league gameplay. We don't have much, we only have two games because um, I didn't really have the best weekend, to be honest, and I couldn't really get any good gameplay. Um, by the time I thought of actually recording, um, I only had like four games left. And um, yeah, I just couldn't really, um, really get any good games. I showed two. These were like my third and second last games. Um, I think, and they just, I think they sum up my week in Carabao. And if we did some more of these two player backs, we and Aki Williams is just it's like a 10k player. We then get some more boards, and we get Cameron Union centre back, we can get Matic from Liverpool. A uh, pretty pointless player actually at the moment because we've got a full BPL team, we actually got better centre backs than, uh, than Matic, and uh, we've also got storage in the pack as well, which is decent. Um, I always like opening these packs, you know, they cost like 20k to do, but you get some decent untradeables. And when these players shoot up to like 5k when you know you need the players um, to do some SBCs, we'll have them already. So yeah, I'm going to do some more in the next video as well, purely because um, I do enjoy doing them. And, you know, I, it's not really a waste of coins when you can actually get, you know, some... I said we're only... Um, it's only a matter of time before we get that really big player. But as you may notice, we get a one to watch player in this episode, and I think it is coming up now. Um, nah, it's coming up last pack. Um, we actually get a one to watch player, um, which is why I said it's only a matter of time until we actually get something worth it. Um, yeah, we get Juliano as well, another decent player, but kind of an anchor as well. Many players that we can use when we actually do turn around to build some Bundesliga teams. Uh, here we go, here is the pack, and I couldn't, I didn't really tell by the flare. I, I don't know how the flares work this year, but we do get uh, Burkina Faso, so it only has to be one player, and it's Bertrand Traore, um, who I anticipate will get an inform this year. Um, which I was kind of happy about. Uh, the one I wanted the most was like um, probably a, a Premier League one or maybe Morata, obviously. But yeah, there was we didn't I didn't wasn't expecting much anyway. So getting a, a player, a one to watch player, any of them would be great. Um, well, the worst one to get probably is that Hernandez bloke um, because he's not really going to play for Real Madrid this season. Um, and yeah, so the one to watch is. At the time of problem, I've just gone out of pack, so it's up until January now until we get some more. Um, but I may try and invest in some because they're not going to go up anytime soon. I don't know what the team loot predictions look like, uh, so I don't know which ones to invest in. But I would I would buy a Bertrand Traore um, if you have the coins because he's quite cheap, and I do anticipate we'll getting him from because he is playing first team football for Leon, and he is one of their first choice you know attacking players. Behind they sign that uh, maybe Depay is probably. Uh, going to get more goals, but I reckon Troy will be with a chance of getting a few. He only has to score like two goals in one weekend to get an inform, so it'll be decent. And he'll also be very, he'll be very good right wing. I wouldn't want to use him at strike particularly because he's a bit too small. But out on the wing, he's going to be a very, very good player if he gets an inform. I mean, I'm not going to use him if he doesn't. Uh, so yeah, we're doing these SBCs now because um, they're about to go up pack think at the time of recording. Um, I'm not sure which this one is. This is probably one of the one. I think this is the marking matchup here. Um, I decided to do them in the end because I was. Oh, they only cost like 20k to do, and you know you can get some decent return on them if uh, if you're lucky. Oh, you have to be extremely unlucky this, this year to not make profit from these SBCs because the players are cheap, and you can get some non rares that go for actually quite a bit of money. Um, we also, and I had a lot of players in the club that I could do this with. I had a lot of Dutch players, so the Dutch one was pretty easy, and uh, it was just about getting the correct, um, I guess. Uh, what's the team rating because sometimes they want a really high one um, when you may think you have enough the right level players to do it but sometimes it catches you out and you have to buy a higher rate player so we have some packs here um, well, we, I don't know which ones to open first to be honest uh, we have quite a lot so uh, I think I probably opened the premium silver players pack first and um, yeah, so we'll see who we get. I don't really remember doing opening these. I don't think we got. Um, I don't remember who we got. I don't know if we got anyone good. Uh, I don't know if we got any panels. That's the only thing I can tell by these days of panels. So, opening the silver pack, we're obviously not going to get anything worth anything. I I got. Um, I realised I haven't been selling my League MX and Super League players, so I have actually been missing out on coins there. So, I have. I do in the next episode. I think clear out the club. Next episode will be out tomorrow, by the way, because I have to record the gameplay for it. We do need to build a new team because um, I got bored of the Premier League team after the weekend league. I'm going to talk about the weekend league a bit more, I guess. Um, I saw a post on Reddit actually 
which summed it up really. Um, if any of you played this week in the, you will know that it's so hard to get a two goal lead. You just it the momentum shifts so hard, and I think you'll see it in the actual gameplay what comes up in this episode. You actually see how the momentum just chip swifts uh, switches at, on, with the click of a click of your fingers. You know, you, 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 I, 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 it's just so hard to explain like why it happens. But even when you're two 0 up, it's so easy. Like I, that's why. Um, I guess it works in both ways, but when I go tuna down, I'm no longer like, even if someone's dominating me, I'm no longer like, this is all over, because I, you can be dominating an entire half of football, and if you don't score more than two goals in the first half, you've been, do the half you've been dominating, I dominate the entire first half, sometimes only got one goal, um, if you don't, if you can't, you can't seem to start the second half in that same way, even if you do have the same attack, but even if you still have the same attacking mentality, um, and, but if the opposition comes at you once, you know, one free ball comes, like take apart your defence. Also, I'm not very great at defending, um, which proved to be one of my downfalls in the early bits. I did get it better towards the end, um, and it mainly became a case of this momentum switch, which, or I couldn't actually score. So, um, yeah, I did switch the formation as well in my weekend league team. I am. I bought a player as well. I don't think I show it. Uh, I did buy Bai to replace Rudiger because Rudiger was pissing me off so much. Um, it just kept getting in the way. Um, and he kept spooning walls about, and Bayou was so much better at the back. But, yeah, I did switch from the 4 5 1 because I just wasn't having. Uh, we, midfield was just getting taken apart. But we played too many 4 3 3s, 4 3 2 1 2. We were just getting dominated. Herrero couldn't like keep up with the play. He was always being um, hassled and like pushed about. And it would be always be, you know, three, att three attackers facing our back four. And I couldn't commit. And yeah, I'd usually end up coming off on every counter attack if they usually aren't scoring against me. Um, but yeah, we did manage to get a gold three in the end. Um, I wanted gold two. I was so close to gold two. I was a, mid a win away from gold two. And the game that you'll see, uh, the final game in this episode, was the game that was the end of the end of the mission. I guess um, we got royally, royally fucked in that game. Like it was, it was painful to play. And it was, I was so annoyed because I started playing well towards the end of it. I had a terrible start. The first 20 games, I think I got 14 wins or something like that from the first 20 games. No, not 14 wins. What am I about? Like, um, first 20, I got about 8 wins. No, maybe 10. No, it must have been. I reckon it was 8 wins. Or 8 or 9 wins, which is awful. Considering last year I was getting like 14 wins from opening 20 games. But... In hindsight, it's the opening weekend, and there are four, three more weeks to go this month. This is probably the only month of weekend that I'll play all of the games. Um, I want to get gold one, and it's really feasible. I only have to, I think I have to get, it's 67, or, yeah, 67 wins to get gold one. So, I've got 19 this weekend. I'm not, honestly, not even that far away. Um, I, if I continue up my form, then we'll be alright. But the only panels player I think we got in this pack, I think it was Benet, going to go for 1.3k. So, yeah, um, I'm not having. I've, I guess I rode the pack luck out with that Bertram Trail Ray. But I'm not going to complain, and I'll just wait. I'll open all the packs I can, and I'll just wait until we get another decent player. Not going to open packs uh, until probably the uh, next marking matchup comes out, or. Um, there's a nice new team of the week out. Um, oh yeah, the investments for this week I did indeed, you'll see in the next episode, I did indeed build a team around Mycon, the inform. Um, I find also in the new team, I do indeed utilise Adam, the goalkeeper, because he's for like 14k or 12k, whatever I paid for him, he's really, really good. He's got really good stats, so I did utilise him in my main team. I think he's a bit too good to go in the fitness team. Uh, Mycon is also um, quite good. He's actually got like 80 odd long shots for centre-back. And we do keep continue to use Valve Wayne, I just switched up the team a little bit, and uh, yeah. So in this game, we took a 1-0 we took a 1-0 um, deficit and then we pulled it back, and this is what I mean, this is how I play uh, so whilst I was playing, I played really well in this game, this is a pit most how I wanted to play, but sometimes I just didn't start games quickly enough and I always, but the opponent started faster than me, and yeah the, I did indeed punish this guy, this is what I mean by a fast start and making the advantage count I was always putting pressure on and I was actually scoring I was doing this for most of the games I played but I would just um, I would just not score and my opponent would have a couple of chances and probably win the game I've learned my lesson though um, and I'll be better next weekend I hope yeah so we win the game 4-1 in the end uh, but yeah that's what I want to do with my new team is quick passing because it tears opponents 
and part. And one tip I would give you is, especially with your players, don't sprint everywhere. Like if you, if you want to close down, please don't sprint. It doesn't work this year. Um, sprinting and closing down does not work. You want to basically either read the play, read where your opposition is going to pass it, or you want to just um, or you want to wait for an opportunity where the ball is loose with a player. Or that's again a bit too much time on the ball because panic passing usually leads to the AI sensing that you know the pass is going to go to the player and they can intercept for you, or um, you can catch them out on the ball if they dawdle for a bit too long. But if you can read the play quite well, which is what good players I've played this weekend we can do, um, you can intercept the ball and it opens up their defence a lot easier. Um, I did it at some points, like when I was playing well, I could I. I had the opposition on the ropes and I could see what they were trying to do. They were always trying to push the ball out wide. And if you can intercept the ball when they're pushing out to their left winger, if you intercept your fullback, you can easily ping a ball forward, uh, which is a counter attack, in which you can indeed, uh, which I found was very useful in this weekend. But as you'll see here, we went 2 0 up, and I think this guy pulled a goal back from a penalty spot. He does indeed make it 2 2. Um, see what I mean? I was dominating this game. Right? He gets a lucky penalty and a lucky corner goal. But we do indeed, we have no excuse at this point, because we do indeed actually restore the lead with a bit of luck um, from, I think it was Antonio getting in. And I thought that had won the game. I thought that had secured, you know, um, the result and that I would be able to go into a last, you know, the last game of the weekend league um, with all, yeah, well, I think I did play it. There was a game spare after this, but I didn't bother playing it because so I was too annoyed. This guy gets a goal out of him, Homry, to equalise. Um... And I was a bit, I was like, come on, like, seriously, I've, I've worked so hard to get in the lead, and then he goes and does that, he's so, uh, I did smash my control at this point, because it was absolutely infuriating. And so I'm sort of in the wound, I knew the game was over, so I just put a player on the line, I was just like, um, I was I was just a bit, just, I was just a bit you know, just demoralised at this point, and he goes and scores a free, he make a 5-3. So yeah, not really a great week in league, I've very infuriating, but I guess we'll live and we'll learn. But anyway, that's going to be it for the video, and I'll see you all next time.